Hi everyone. A quick tutorial on the Logitech G27 wheel. First things first, we'll open the Logitech profiler. We'll then click Options and Global Device Settings. Click Defaults and then drag the Degrees of Rotation slider to 900 degrees. Press OK and we are finished with the Logitech profiler. Exit out. To save time I've already loaded iRacing in a test session. To set our in-game settings for our Logitech G27 we'll click Options and we'll run through the input calibration here. Steering. We'll turn the wheel all the way to the left, all the way to the right, back to center and click done. We'll then turn our wheel left to our 90 degree position which mine ends up about 860. Click done and we are completed. Next we'll run through our pedals quickly. We'll depress the throttle, quickly let it out, and click done. Depress the brake, fully release, click done. Same with the clutch. The gearbox, sequential shifting setup, done. Set your buttons, done have an H pattern, done, I've already done all these things, set them where you'd like them. And we are good to go. As you notice here, steering wheel range and map range is 860 after doing our steering calibration. Keep your brakes at 1.8, tick enable force feedback and reduce force when parked. Strength, I will cover briefly after this and we will auto set the strength after doing a short test session with whatever mod we decide to use and track we use we should always auto do our strength. Wheel force 1.0 nm, damping 10% with the Logitech G27 seems to help quite a bit and a minimum force of 20% seems to help quite a bit with the G27. We are done with our settings here for the wheel we're ready to go test. When we get into testing here We'll click test. We'll hit F9, which brings up our graphics adjustment screen. We will then turn some clean and consistent laps until the auto button appears in our graphics adjustments black box. As you can see our auto button has now popped up. We'll just move our cursor over, click auto, and as you can see we were close on our force feedback strength for this particular mod and track, but we are a little bit low. Do this with every mod and every track combination you do and you'll have more success with your wheel settings. Thank you very much for watching.